welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fanique, and my YouTube channel's name is Fanique. <laughs> I am here today to talk to you about the F Factor Diet. In 2018, I discovered the F Factor Diet kind of on social media, um, seeing a lot of bloggers I love and follow, like the Brooklyn Blonde, kind of talking about it, um, and got really interested in it and discovered it. Um, over the course of a few months, I lost 22 pounds on the F Factor Diet and it was totally life-changing. I don't not even sure I worked out during that time, but I wrote about it and shared a lot about the F Factor diet and how it changed my life. Um, back in 2018, cut to we're now in 2020. I am still a lover, fan, and believe in the F Factor way. And I am um, <laughs> have gained 10 pounds for full transparency over the course of 2019, not following the F Factor diet. Um, and not really, not, um, kind of, not so much say finding balance, but more so just having no limits <laughs> to how much cake, bread, carbs, junk, sweets, just alcohol, everything that I wanted to, that I was just having. Um, and honestly, I've seen a lot of people do keto. I've seen a lot of people do whole 30. I have as well. Um, I've seen people go vegan, lose weight go back to their old ways or just not keep that same lifestyle and gain all of their weight back. So I think to only gain 10 pounds of weight back over the course of a year is amazing. Um, so we're back at it. I'm currently back reverting to 35 net carbs and I decided to start creating this channel. So let's get into talking about the F Factor diet today and how it works and why I believe it's sustainable and how it is sustainable and how it is a lifestyle. Um, I just wanna keep in mind a few things. I've had a lot of people asking me about it. What are you eating? How are you doing this? I'm very nervous. I don't wanna make a mis mistake. Let me tell you something. The F Factor Diet is a lifestyle. You've been living the life you've been living all of the years you've been alive. Now you're going to change your lifestyle and you're gonna to commit to having this lifestyle it's not going to be easy. You're not, it's not going to be, okay, I'm gonna be perfect. That's not how it works. You're going to struggle. You're gonna go over 35, 75, 125 net. It's not going to be easy. So please keep that in mind when you try out anything new that it's not gonna be easy. It's, going, it's changing a habit. It's creating a new habit. It's creating a new lifestyle. So that's gonna take time. So be gentle with yourself. So let me explain a few things. The F Factor diet works in a wave. It's, it's transitional. You start on 35 net carbs for two weeks. Then you graduate to 75 net carbs. And then you live and you sustain your life on 125 net carbs. Okay? Now, what are net carbs? What's that mean? That, on the F Factor diet, that means carbs minus insoluble fiber. So fiber insoluble fiber equals your net carbs okay <laughs> so that's what that means that's how that works now next things next okay so 35 net carbs is so few carbs well let's say you are eating 70 carbs that day and you eat 35 carbs five, 35 grams of fiber that day then if my math is right, you had 35 net carbs that day. So that's how that works. The more fiber you eat, the more it negates the carbs. Um, and the goal on F factors is to eat 35 grams of fiber. Now on the first step, and I'm gonna have to pull out my phone guys, because it's been a while since I read the book, but I did buy Tanya Zuckerbrot's book. She is the, a nutritionist and the author and like kind of the woman that I, I found on Instagram and learned a lot about um, and she is a genius I feel I feel like this is a very sustainable diet um, and I just think it was amazing so I bought her book um, let me see which one did I buy let me get the name right because I didn't buy her first book I bought the second one um, I could just search on my Kindle on my phone so I would always have it with me factor Was it on my Kindle is the question? And I got like, girl, you didn't have this pulled up? Yes, it is. Okay. It is on here. The Miracle Carb Diet. Make calories and fat disappear. So that's the one I purchased. Um, okay. 
and it talks about how you start off. So let's talk about the number one things that people send me DMs about on Instagram. And people ask me about this. Um, let me just be real clear. It took me about a month to get step one done right done with 35 net carbs not messing up it's very strict i highly recommend you buy the book highly recommend because the book is giving you recipes the book the book is giving you what kind of dressing you can have how much how much wine can you drink because this is a lifestyle so we're not taking things out of your lifestyle and that's my goal with my recipes is not to take things out of your life necessarily 100 percent, but to um i guess the word would be to kind of like trade things out, you know? So instead of having, you know, the pizza from Giordano's, I'm from Chicago, so that's what people, that's like what's close to my house, Giordano's or Connie's or Pizza Hut. You're, you, you're making Gigi pizzas or you're buying cut the carb and you're making pizzas with them or you're using cauliflower flour crust and portion size matters. So that's what I'm talking about. I know there'll be some big changes. You're going to, you know, maybe step, step away from a lot of fruits that you've eaten because on this first step, 35 net, no, you can't eat apples. Like that's 26 carbs <laughs> and some fiber, but not enough for you to make it that through the day, unless you're eating nothing but veggies during the day. And I really don't think that's what you want to do. So, but you're eating berries, you're eating strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Raspberries are the best for you. And I think raspberries are probably the least liked among the many people. Um, I'm not a fan that much. I am a blueberry girl. I am a blackberry girl. Um, I was a strawberry girl, but I'm a little bit allergic these days. So I highly recommend you buy the book. Okay. So first step, 35 net, two weeks, you really need to do it for a month. You really need to do it for a month so you can get a little bit more disciplined um, what am I eating? So let me share that. So um, I'm eating two or three different things. I'm eating Fiber One cereal, the basic brand one with the highest amount of fiber and the lowest amount of carbs. Not the really delicious looking um, cornflakes one. That one looks good. That one is good, but that's not the one we're eating. Mm -mm. Then we're putting berries in it and you're measuring your berries. So you're doing a serving size, sometimes less than a serving size. Um, sometimes you're doing less than a serving size because those berries still have carbs. And although they have fiber, you can you can get come in with a cereal with 14 grams of carbs and then also come in and have five or six carbs. And now you're at 20 carbs, you know, 19, 20 carbs and you only got 35 for the day. So, you know, you don't want to throw it all the way at, at breakfast, but this is what I'm eating for breakfast. Or you're buying the F-Factor um, protein powder and making waffles, which is my favorite thing. <laughs> and I do have, um, I think I do have a video where I'm making that. It's one of my favorite things to eat. These waffles are absolutely delicious. They have, I think, three net carbs in the waffles, and that's two big waffles. So. That's a great thing to eat for breakfast. But but I want to stress that as much as you eat these carby things, you need to make sure you're balancing it out by adding a green vegetable in. I think that helps you stay on track and that helps you um, start to add in healthy habits that you may not have had before. So for breakfast, we're eating um, fiber one cereal with berries. And for me, cashew milk, I'm dairy. I don't eat dairy because I'm actually lactose intolerant. I can't really have dairy, um, <laughs> which is huh, not the best. Um, but you'll get a lot of dairy-free things with, on this channel. Um, but for sure, definitely highly recommend you um, do this step one. For, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say it enough in this video. Do step one for like a good month. Until you like, okay, I've perfected step one. Good. So anyway, for breakfast, five one cereal with berries or F-Factor waffles or Gigi crackers. Gigi crackers are terrible. Horrible. Not delicious at all. I don't think so. But you can put them in the oven and toast them a little bit and that makes them a little bit easier. You can put avocado on top and make them as an avocado toast. Matter of fact, let me pull some out of my cabinet. 
see how everyone falling out of the cabinet as I speak. Have on. So this is the fiber one that I'm eating, just FYI. Um, these are the Gigi crackers. Hopefully, is it upside down? Oh, of course. This is my Gigi cracker that I'm eating. Hopefully you guys can see it decently. I'll link below too, to the website and where you can buy on Amazon. It should be in my Amazon store, so I'll have that down below too. But this is the Gigi cracker. There are about, I think there are eight in here. Oh no, there may be like 12. There's quite a few in here. Yeah, there's 12 in a pack. This is the Gigi cracker. I get the plain basic one. They also have gluten-free if you have gluten intolerance. So that's what you're having. You can put, you can make pizza on this. You can do a lot of things with these. They're not amazing, but when you add something to them, for example, like if you just put egg and like a chicken sausage or turkey or bacon, whatever you like, and make that into a sandwich. Maybe even put, you know, smash up some, you know, raspberries on, the, on there, like three or four raspberries to make like a, almost like a paste or jam of some sorts. That's what you're eating for breakfast. So recap, because I know I said a lot, you're eating fiber one cereal with berries and a, a milk of your choice, low fat, sugar free, just FYI. Or you're eating the 2020 F factor protein waffles. Um, and I'll get more into that on another video how that works, what they look like, how to make them. I love them. Um, or you're eating GG crackers in the morning. Um, you can make avocado toast or you can put make an egg sandwich on them or you can just smash some berries on top and eat it like a toast after you put it in the oven or a toaster. You can really do a lot of different things with them. So that's what you're eating in the mornings. Let's move on to lunch. Now, on the F-Factor diet, Breakfast is supposed to be your biggest meal. And then you're supposed to eat like a king at breakfast, a prince at lunch, and a pauper at dinner. So your biggest meal is supposed to be breakfast. Lunch is usually my biggest meal because I'm not a huge breakfast person. So for lunch, I might have a huge salad, I actually have one in the fridge, and I'm sitting in my kitchen doing this video, this much awaited, much asked about <laughs> video but I'll show you a salad that I made for lunch tomorrow. Um, and, I, and I meal prep, so that's a thing for me. Um, but I made this salad, it's basically kale, carrots, onions, eggs, red cabbage, and that's all, no, no meat. We're doing no meat tomorrow. I eat enough meat during the week, but normally I would put chicken in there because that's what I really like in my salads. I do love bacon. But I love bacon, but I'm trying to limit the bacon a little bit. <laughs> but I do love it. It's my favorite. I eat sugar-free um, bacon, like sugar-free, um, uncured bacon specifically. So for lunch, I'm having a big salad or I'm having tacos. So I make my own tacos at home. I'm having... Um, fish, it just whatever, whatever kind of protein. If you don't eat meat at all, you don't eat fish either at all, um, then what do you like to eat? Veggies, you probably eat a lot of carbs and things like that. I don't really know a lot about what vegetarians eat anymore. I went vegan for a second <laughs> years ago. Um, that's on my blog, but um, you're not eating rice on the F factor diet, so you can't have rice for lunch. You can have a cauliflower rice or a miracle rice, which I actually have, so I can show you guys that as well. Let's see. What's that? Miracle rice. Miracle rice. Let's see if you can see it better. Miracle rice. This is what it looks like. It's made out of shirataki. Um, so, yeah. You can have that, but for breakfast, for lunch, I would I like to do a ridiculously big salad. I make my own balsamic vinaigrette. That's very important. Don't get crazy with the dressings. Bring it all back. We're not eating ranch. Sorry, friends. Back up. This is step one. There is no ranch on step one right now. You're eating a balsamic vinaigrette, and then we'll work our way back up to the ranches and all those things. And even when you get there, there's going to be rules with that. So... Big salad, 
chicken, fish, meatballs, no pasta. There is no, there is no carbs on step one, people. Not like pasta. You wait to step two to get to pasta, but you're eating very basic, very minimal, like salads. You're eating uh, shrimp and like a asparagus or peas or snow peas is one of my favorite meals, period. Like it's so simple, it's so basic. I love to have it for dinner, but you could have a big amount for lunch. Um, but you're eating a, a lot more, a lot more um, simplistic food, but you wanna make it hearty. So if you're eating fish and you're eating asparagus, you're not eating it on a bowl of kale, you're eating with asparagus, you're eating with other veggies, cause you wanna get full, you wanna, and fiber fills you. So. For lunch, we're having veggies and a meat, and that's what you're having for lunch. Or, one of my favorite things, which you can make a lunch out of, is a Gigi cracker, smoked salmon, um, a cream cheese, like a, a low-fat, low-carby cream cheese. I don't eat cream cheese. I eat Tofutis cream cheese, <laughs> which I have. And... Um, that's what I would have for lunch. I'd have four of those and I would be so happy because these have fiber. These are feeling, filling. That that meat has so much protein in it. I would drop a little rosemary on top. Like that's what I'm having for breakfast. I love that. It was so, so good. I mean, sorry, for lunch. So good, so good. So highly recommend. I, I could eat that for breakfast too. It doesn't really matter. You could do that. Lock, bagel and locks, or you could just do that for lunch. Either one. But it's so delicious. So for lunch, you're having something you like. Like, what do you like that is not carb heavy? Or what do you like that's carb heavy? Then you like pizza, for say. Let's say, I really like pizza. Okay, then let's take the Gigi crackers and put some cheese on them and oregano. Use Riles marinara for the, for the marinara first. Put the cheese, put some oregano on top, whatever the other seasons you like. Boom, done. Good to go. So pop it in the oven take it out it's browned there you go that's you have breakfast i'm sorry <laughs> lunch you have lunch like just the food you like figure out what you like and how to make it healthy that's my point so if you like fish people don't really like you bringing you know fish at work but if you're gonna be bold and do it and you, it needs to be heated up then do you but make fish put a veggie with it you don't need to put a starch with it necessarily. So definitely lunch, get creative, Be, but keep it within a net carb that you can maintain. Now, let's talk snack. <sighs> okay, so snack is for me is um, where I like to <laughs> have either a candy um, or something like that at 3 p.m. Like a, a Smart Sweets. I'm a lover of Smart Sweets. You know, it's all over my Instagram. I'm obsessed with them. Um, or chocolate, Lily's Chocolate. I love it. But step one, I really recommend you get acquainted with carrots and celery. For me, that's my favorite snack. It is the best snack. It is the snack for me. And then use PB2. Specifically PB2 if you want to use peanut butter in any capacity. If you want to put peanut butter on a GG, if you want to dip, um, if you want to dip your celery into peanut butter, PB2 because that tracks better. Um, and I use the F Factor app, which I highly recommend you use. I'll have all that information down at the in the notes. Um, but definitely use the F Factor app to track all of this. Not you, it's very helpful um but definitely for snacks carrots i'm a lover of carrots i know someone's like well carrots have a lot of sugar and carrots this and carrots that carrots have a lot of fiber they're very good for you they may not be the best but you're gonna need to get acquainted with them i preferably am a fan of baby carrots um but i think the regular carrots you buy are um even healthier or better um but definitely carrots and I usually eat anywhere from 10 to 20 baby carrots for a snack at lunch. Um, I make, I do uh, about six inch um, celery stalks and then I do PB2 and that's two tablespoons of serving and actually when you're tracking it, PB2 in the app, it's negative. Um, so it's like 
a free food is what we call it. A factor is a free food. doesn't cost you anything. It actually gives you back some carbs. So that's always nice. And it has fiber and it's, it's very great. So highly recommend you make those two things your, snack on step, your snacks on step one. Also, you can do almonds. Almonds are great. Um, pistachios. But be careful. Make sure you're counting serving sizes on these kind of things because they're not a free food. Um, I love sunflower seeds. I eat a lot of sunflower seeds. I am a big fan of sunflower seeds. I have an almond intolerance, but I also love almonds. Um, so nuts, highly recommend. They have a lot of fiber. They're good for you. They're enjoyable. They give you that crunch if you love potato chips. So, um, and I am a lover of chips. So, and I think most people love chips. So definitely highly recommend that. Um, as a snack, um, throughout the day. Those are great things to snack on and free foods. For dinner, let's move on. Um, dinner is your smallest meal. So if you're still hungry, which you probably are, something that eat a smaller version of what you would eat for lunch basically. Like uh, the shrimp and snow peas, chicken and snow peas, like a stir fry of situation of sorts. Um, using the avocado oil that we recommend on F-Factor. Um, but definitely, oof, is, is this hair bothering y'all as much as it's bothering me? My goodness. But um, definitely a lover of just a simple dinner, a simple veggie and meat type dinner. That's a zero. That's a free, that's a free meal, basically, on that factor. Um, so, yeah, definitely just eat something that you would eat for lunch. There's all these different meals. I highly recommend you buy the book. Um, just so you can get a better idea and you can get better guidance and better instruction. Um, <laughs> I keep saying, um, it's killing me. This is only my second video. <laughs> so definitely recommend step one for a good month. I don't, I've said it probably five times. I highly recommend you do it for a month. Go in with intents of two weeks, but know that it could take you up to a month. And seeing yourself lose that weight that seven to you can use anywhere from five to whatever in that time period so definitely step one for probably a good month now let's move on to step two step two is 75 net carbs okay so you're doubling your net carbs from last time and hmm it's hard doubling your carbs when you taught your body how to eat on 35 net is going to be difficult. It's going to be a difficult transition for some people. Not for everyone, but for some. Because now you're allowed to eat more. You're allowed to eat beans now. In the step one, you're not really eating beans. You're not eating these high carb foods. You're eating, you're eating like very light. <laughs> you're eating lots of heavy on the veggie. Heavy on the green veggies specifically. But you're eating heavy on the veggies. You're not eating potatoes. In step two, you now have a little wiggle room. You can eat a little bit of potatoes, but you better watch your serving sizes. You can eat beans. Watch your serving sizes. You know, you can add, you can add in a little bit of rice, maybe. Not quite yet. Maybe just a little bit. I would say hold off. Seventy-five is like the same, the same um, kind of idea, and. It's just gradually teaching you how to really make this life sustainable. When you get to step three, it's 125 net carbs. That's the maintaining. You're not really trying to lose any weight. When you're in step one, you can, you're going to lose like five, 10 pounds. You're going to lose a hefty amount of weight, but you're getting your metabolism up. You're getting your metabolism to a place where it's like, okay, metabolism. Okay, hair. Okay, hair. You're getting your metabolism to a place where it's just like, okay, um, I think I'm ready for this. Like, okay, we're, we're ready. We're, we're moving. We're really moving. You're using the bathroom several times a day. <laughs> You're having bowel movements like three times a day. Um, and while I'm talking about this, let me tell you, you need to be drinking a lot of water. Okay. So this is my water bottle. I drank the whole thing today. It's kind of big. Let me pull back a little bit, but it's a gallon. I think you're only supposed to, you're supposed to make sure you're drinking like eight cups or something a day when you're on that factor diet. But I highly recommend you drink a lot more water than that because more than likely you may not drink a ton of water. 
um I don't think a lot of people drink as much water as they need to anyway so you're van you're amping up your water because if you do not amp up your water doing F factor you will become bloated and wonder why am I looking fatter than I was than I when I started please keep in mind drink water okay but to go back um step one you're losing a copious amount of weight you're losing a lot of weight when you get to step two you're slowly losing weight like you're slowly losing a few pounds here and there you're slowly losing weight but now you're perfecting those good habits you're perfecting your eating you're learning oh what can i eat and how does my body respond to this you're really learning when you get to step three it's your lifestyle now this is what we're maintaining we're maintaining 125 net excuse me which can be quite a bit um, for you when you come from 35 to 125. It's quite the jump. Um, but definitely highly recommend that you drink a ton of water. Like I cannot stress that enough. Drink water. <laughs> Trust me. Or your stomach will look huge. You'll feel the drink water i'm back to drinking my water that i've been missing out on and i really believe that you'll have like three bowel movements a day and that might, you might be like i'm using the bathroom so much you're drinking a ton of water eating a ton of fiber you're going to be taking a good a good few poops <laughs> now some of the side effects or the good effects that i've other aside from being bloated um one thing i saw is that my eyelashes grew a lot like I don't know, that's such a random thing, but I was like, wow, my eyelashes got big when I first started doing this. They got really full, much fuller than I believed. Um, another thing is my stomach got very flat, which I was like, hmm. Now, I've lost weight before, and my stomach has gotten smaller, but in the, it got flat in a way that I've never really experienced. Um, so that was one good effect. Um, a bad side effect, aside from bloating, would probably be gas. Because if you don't drink enough water, you get bloated, you get gassy, you fart a lot. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, drink water. Just That's all I can, I can definitely say. Drink water. Now, I've had people send me questions. Um, like, how do you go about your grocery list for step one and trying F factor? Did you plan out every meal with all ingredients and then servings? <laughs> yes, I, I have a grocery list. I like to cook. So you have to make this your own. I love cooking. I love eating, obviously, but I also, also love cooking. That's why I'm making this YouTube channel. Um, so I did make a grocery list. Like, what do I feel like eating this week? Oh, I want to eat turkey burgers. Hmm. So I'm going to eat turkey burgers for lunch every day. I'm going to buy ground turkey, marinated with all seasonings that I have in my house. Um, maybe cook an egg and put on top of it to take to work that I heat up in the microwave. Or I'm putting it on lettuce. We're not using bread on the step one or step two or not really that often. I'm not using bread. Um, so... Um, definitely I'm planning all that stuff out. I'm planning out what I want to put on it. I'm planning on how many, how much meat will I need to eat it for two days? Cause often I make two or three meals around meal prep. Um, and I'll do a meal prep video. Um, I plan to do a lot of meal prep videos on my Instagram TV channel, um, in the near few weeks, <laughs> but I'll make turkey burgers or something and then I'll make a salad and then I'll make tacos and then I'll eat some for lunch and I'll eat some at home. Because these are the things I like to eat. So that's what I'm eating, basically. Um, what snacks? We've covered snacks, which you already know. Let's talk about not being hard on yourself. Because this person's like, I don't want to make a mistake. Don't be hard on yourselves, guys. Like, just be gentle with yourselves. Like, seriously, be gentle. Um... Be gentle with yourselves because it's very hard to change your lifestyle. It's very hard to go on a diet. It's very hard to make these big life changes and you not see results next day. And, you know, you may not see results for a week or two. You might not see the results yourself for a while, 
but everyone else around you will see them, okay? But with that factor, the results come fairly quick if you're steadfast, if you're disciplined, if you're on top of things. So please be on top of things and please be steadfast. Let me see what other questions I've got. I've gotten people asking me like, so, you know, what should I be buying? Where am I grocery shopping? I am gonna give you guys a grocery list on my on my blog. <laughs> and I once I put it up, it'll be linked in this video. And it'll be a Trader Joe's grocery list because someone requested specifically a Trader Joe's grocery list. I love Trader Joe's, huge Trader Joe's fans, but I actually shop at three or four different grocery stores. <laughs> because I get my meat from one place, I get all my stuff that I like at Trader Joe's from one place, I get stuff that I can't find at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's at Mariano's. <laughs> and so I am all over the place when it comes to grocery shopping. So let's see, what are some other questions? F factor. Oh, let's see. There was one other person who was asking me questions, but I get a lot of, a lot of DMs about stuff. So, um, you know, it's hard to keep up. Uh, I think one of the most asked questions is um, drinking. Let's talk. So on that factor, you can drink day one, okay? Day one, you can drink. Day one, you can eat out. So let's just start off with this. Um, so day one on F-Factor, you can drink white wine or you can drink tequila, vodka, on the rocks, straight. Um, you can have champagne, but just muddle blueberries or a berry up instead of putting a syrup and then put the champagne because um, that's a kind of a cleaner way. You can only have really like one one glass, really. Like, let's be honest. But I say you can have no more than two <laughs> because I know how it goes. I'm, I'm realistic. Um, eating out. So let's talk eating out. Step one for breakfast, step anything for breakfast on that factor. I'm, I'm getting sauteed spinach because I actually like that and I love to put a green in my meal. I'm getting a chicken sausage or turkey or turkey sausage or bacon. I love bacon. I don't eat turkey bacon. If you like turkey bacon, more power to you. I'm not eating that. So I'm getting one of those three meats. Um, and then I'm getting eggs scrambled, light or whatever. However you like your eggs, but I usually get two eggs. Um, you have to be careful with eggs. A lot of pl places when you're out eating eggs, they they don't cook them like with the egg whites or just be all yolk or whatever. So I would recommend you get the egg whites when you're out eating. I don't always get the egg whites. I like scrambled eggs, but it depends on where I'm getting the food from. So I highly recommend you do the egg whites because it's a little healthier, but hey, you know, eggs are high in cholesterol, so you also have to be careful with that as well. So definitely be careful. Um, next, I also do, and this is a big, this is a big breakfast, right? I do a bowl of berries. So I do a bowl of berries for breakfast. And I think I actually, I'll actually share a video, uh, like a, a photo of this with you guys um, on, you know, some, on one of these social media outlets, most likely Instagram, because that's one of my favorites. But um, highly recommend you get a big breakfast when you go out. And that's what I eat for breakfast. That's what I like. Now, I always tell them, don't bring the toast to the table. Tell them, don't bring that toast to the table. I don't want it. Mm -mm, because it's tempting. And I love toast. I don't eat any jam or anything like that. We're not pouring syrup over the eggs like we used to a long time ago, if that's what you were into. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, such bad habits, right? Um, so that's like highly uh, what I would recommend you get for breakfast from my point of view. Because um, it's feeling, it's big, it's a great way to start the day. And that spinach is like basically a free food. Um, and it's a really good hearty breakfast. When I'm going out for lunch, lunch is always hard for me because I always just want to eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> but when I'm going out for lunch, I'm getting... Honestly, I'm getting a probably fish, Branzino, and telling them not to bring any potatoes, any fries to the table, or I'm getting steak. I'm getting something kind of big, something kind of hearty. Um, I know some people don't eat red meat, so roasted chicken or something of that nature. 
um, or a big mixed veggie type of thing if you don't eat meat. But I'm getting something hefty, something hearty, something big. So, um, yeah, that's what I would recommend you for lunch. Something that has a big piece of protein and a good veggie. I prefer Brussels sprouts. I prefer asparagus. I prefer to also tell the chef to cook them light in light oil. Okay? Very light. Light oils. Um, also, cauliflower. And I always ask to always ask to put any sauces on the side. Don't put any sauces on my food. Put them on the side. I'm pouring them on myself. That way you can kind of be in control on if you even want the sauce. Or you can kind of get an idea like, okay, this sauce is really sugary. Or this sauce is very creamy, like a white cream. Or this sauce is, you know, you get to control the situation. Always get dressing on the side. Sometimes I like to get a huge salad, like go to Sweet Green, get a ridiculously big salad. No croutons. We're not eating croutons, guys. No croutons. Gotta let them go. You gotta tell croutons, you gotta let it burn. No croutons. Get your dressing on the side. Highly recommend you get a vinaigrette. Balsamic vinaigrette, obviously, is what I would recommend. And you would maybe use half of what they give you. Or some type of raspberry vinaigrette. Or some type of vinaigrette. Um, raspberry vinaigrette, though, may be high in sugar and maybe concentrated you know maybe highly processed and on that factor diet we're really not trying to eat a lot of processed foods so keep that in mind for dinner eat a salad like if i'm going out i would eat a light fish or something like that for dinner and a veggie same as lunch but a salad and also a recommendation tell them don't bring the bread to the table again just want to let y'all know no bread at the table just wanna, no bread at the table, okay? Just trust me on this. I ate a whole thing of bread not too long ago. <laughs> trust me on this. No bread at the table. Um, so I think that wraps up everything I have for you about the F-Factor diet on my in my mind, but feel free to leave um, questions and I'll answer them and try to get back to you ASAP. Please keep in mind, I am not a medical professional, so make sure that you reach out to your doctor or a med medical provider for any um, dietary restrictions or any advice. This is all just from my experience and based on my opinion of that experience. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be more to come. If you have any requests or recommendations you'd like to see on the channel, don't be afraid to share that with me. I am more than open to kind of make sure that I give you guys what you want to see and share what you would like. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a, I am not a chef. I'm just a girl who loves to cook and a girl who will be in her kitchen cooking for you soon. So thank you so much for watching my video. Again, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon.